So one of the classic problems in related rates is the uh, falling ladder problem. Uh, so in this problem, what we have is a five meter ladder that uh, leans against the wall, and uh, the bottom of the ladder is 1.5 meters from the wall at uh, time t equals zero, and uh, it slides away from the wall at a rate of 0.8 meters per second. So the, the task is to find the velocity of the top of the ladder at uh, time t equals one. So in other words, this uh, the top of the ladder uh, is sliding down, downwards, as the bottom of the ladder slides outwards. So uh, here's what we have to do. I'm going to start, of course, by assigning variables very precisely. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to label uh, the horizontal distance, in other words, the distance between the bottom of the ladder and the wall, I'm going to call that x, and uh, the distance between the top of the ladder and the floor, I'm going to call that y. So let's let x equal, many people are just going to write distance, but what distance? The distance from uh, the Earth to the Moon? In what units? We're talking about light years, millimeters, nanometers. So uh, we want to say distance from bottom of ladder to wall in meters. And then y is also going to be a distance, and this demonstrates why you can't just say distance, because there are two different distances. This is from the top of the ladder to the floor, and also measured in meters. And uh, then the next variable we want is, of course, time. Oops. We want t for time. And it's, a, it's not just time, but it's time in seconds. How do I know it's seconds? Because that's the unit of time we're given in the problem. Since sliding began. Because of course it's not just you know time since the beginning of the universe or time since the year 1900. It's, it's uh, specifically uh, time since sliding began. So that's why we have to specify that. Okay, so the next thing to ask is what rate is the problem looking for? We're looking for the velocity of the top of the ladder. Well, the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall, which means what we're looking for is how fast uh, the dis how fast this quantity y is changing. So uh, what that means is you know all distance I mean all speeds or all velocities are going to be measured in you know, some amount of distance per some amount of time. So we're asking how fast this distance changes with respect to time, or in other words, the ratio of dy the change in y over the change in time. So that's what we're looking for in the problem. Next question is uh, find one or more equations that relate the variables. So we can easily see by the Pythagorean theorem that this is a right, and since this is a right triangle, uh, we know that the length of the ladder doesn't change, but we do know that uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. So that means that x squared plus y squared is equal to five squared or 25. So that's the equation that uh, relates the quantities in this problem, x squared plus y squared equals 25. And uh, we can also, another equation we can read right off the problem is this, is uh, the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 0.8 meters per second. What that tells us is that this quantity x is increasing at a rate of 0.8. In other words, the, the, the rate of change of this, of change of the distance x per unit change in time is 0.8. So we can actually write here that dx over dt equals 0.8. That's, that just comes right from this statement in the problem. So now what we want to do is differentiate. We have x squared plus y squared equals 25. And we're going to differentiate the entire equation with respect to t. So the uh, derivative of x squared is 2x. But we also need the derivative of, uh, we also need the derivative of, of x itself. Now, when we did uh, implicit differentiation, x was always the independent variable. But here it's not. Let me write this a little differently. Recall that I said everything is really a function of time. So you can think of this as being kind of like x of t squared plus y of t squared equals 25. You can sort of think of this equation as if it had said this. In that case, squared is the outer function and x of t is the inner function. So we would write this as 2 x of t to the 1 times the derivative of x of t, which is x prime of t. And then we do the same thing here with y. Squared is the outer function, now y of t is the inner function, so that becomes 2y of t times 
y prime of t, and then the derivative of 25, that's a constant that's just equal to 0. But the thing to recognize is that we're not really going to write, we don't usually write this as a function. We're just sort of understanding that the variables are functions of time. We don't write it this way. So if I were to, to rewrite this in a more compact form, I would just say 2 times x times x prime of t is the derivative of x with respect to t, or dx dt. And this is 2y for the same reason, dy dt. y prime is just the derivative of y with respect to its variable t, and that equals 0. If you don't get this, and I know many of you don't, but you will if you do it enough. Just understand this. What we're really doing is, when we do a related rates problem, when we're looking for a rate with respect to time, just take the derivative of each of these variables normally, that's 2x, and then just put d, that variable, over dt after whatever you get. The same thing here with y. 2y, and then, since the variable is y, we write dy over dt equals 0. And you see I get to the same place. So this is the equation. This is the, 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 the sorry, this is the, the equation with the derivatives in it. Um, one more thing, uh, I know many of you are saying, wait a minute, you know, I was told in the implicit differentiation uh, uh, unit that uh, y gets treated specially, but x does not. The issue is, of course, that x was an independent variable and y was, and y was a dependent variable. In this case, since we're imagining that both variables are dependent on t, both of them are dependent variables. They're both dependent on t, so they both get treated the same way. They're, it's not like y is special and x is not, because both of these are now, uh, you know, now being treated as functions of t, so they have to be treated kind of analogously. Okay, all that to say that we have that equation. Um, next thing we have to do, or the last thing, is use the derivatives in step four to solve for the rate. So the rate that we're looking for is dy over dt. So I want to take this equation and solve for dy over dt in terms of everything else. Um, moving 2x, dt, 2x dx dt over to the other side of the equation, I get 2y dy dt is equal to negative 2x dx dt. And now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2y, giving me dy dt equals negative 2x over 2y dx dt. And negative 2 over 2 is just negative 1, so I'm actually going to just write it like that. So I have negative x over y dx dt. Fortunately, I actually have all of these quantities. Let me just oops. Hmm, that's not coming along. Okay, let me just draw it again. Recall that we have, that's x, that's y, that's 5, the ladder is sliding at point 8. Now, we're given in the problem, we're given in the problem that at t equals 0, the ladder is 1.5 meters from the wall. In other words, x is 1.5. But we're also told that we want to know where the, we want to know what the situation is at t equals 1, and the ladder is sliding away from the wall at point 8. So if it starts at 1.5, and this number increases by 0.8 every second, then at t equals 1, it's going to be 1.5 plus 0.8 equals 2.3. So what that means is that at the time that we care about, x is equal to 2.3, and y is therefore, by the Pythagorean theorem, equal to 25 minus 2.3 squared, like that. That's just given the Pythagorean theorem. So, and we also know, of course, that dx dt is itself 0.8. We, we catalog that right up there. So we have everything we need. We're going to just plug in the values. This is going to be 2.3 over the square root of 25 minus 2.3 squared times 0.8. This comes out to 2.3 over approximately 4.44 times 0.8 and that equals, if I've done everything right, that equals, um, oh sorry, I forgot the negative sign. There was a negative in front of the x. So if I've done everything right, this is equal to negative 0.414 meters per second. I think we're measuring in seconds, correct? Yes, we are, okay. So, Sorry, there we go. So there we go, 4.14 meters per second. And there we go, that's the answer. That's how fast the, la the, the, uh, the ladder is sliding down the wall. And by the way, notice that we got a negative number. That makes uh, complete sense because, uh, th that makes complete sense because 
uh, what we measured was dy over dt, which is how fast is y changing with respect to time. Well, y is not only changing, but it's, it's changing in a particular direction. It's getting smaller. So it makes sense that the rate of change of y is going to be a negative number.